Communication. Analyzing biometrics. Bullish price action on the Algorand charts. Looking good on the daily. Algorand's Decipher 2024 kicking off. Day two just finished up. Massive announcements coming on the side of enterprise adoption. You know, we are focused on enterprise adoption, real world use case, utility, blockchains only on this channel. Uh, my name is Andrew DeVilvis. Thank you for joining me today. This is the DeVilvis Capital Allocators channel. We're a private focused group of investors investing on the cutting edge. And that is exactly why we are laser focused on Algorand. Let's dive right into some of these massive announcements that's been happening. Now, yesterday's video, we covered some from day one. They have the MasterCard partnership with the Para Wallet, ultra bullish for this year's or for the upcoming bull cycle. Very, very fascinating to see what's going on on the Algorand blockchain. But as you can see, the major announcement right off the bat on day two, the first ever tokenized money market fund has arrived on Algorand following the issuance by Archax of their tokenized interest, uh, interest in Arbidine's 3.8 billion euro money market fund. I'm gonna let them go, let them talk. Some uh, tokenization of a money market fund and I will uh, let you drop the big news on this. So Fede, why don't you start and then uh, we'll have you guys say a couple of things from your perspective as well. But this is a, uh, a, uh, something, that we, something that we have been working on for a very long time, so Fede. So no yeah, further ado. Um, we uh, finally have uh, our first uh, money market fund tokenized on, uh, on Algorand uh, by Aberdeen. Okay, just pause billion. there. First yeah. bond market fund tokenized on Algorand by Aberdeen. What, no applause? There's no applause after that? Okay. okay. Those of you from the U.S., a not as well known in the well known, a very big fund. Fund. Five hundred billion, hundred billion under management. Or something yeah. Like yeah. That. Just five hundred billion under management. Okay. Sorry. B, with a B. With, with a B. B. Yeah, yeah. With a B. <laughs> and um, uh, the, the interesting thing is, uh, not only is tokenized on Algorand, but we are able to um, purchase the tokenized units using URD. The uh, regulated uh, money market, uh, uh, sorry, regulated uh, um, digital fiat, Europe. digital euro, fiat on chain solution by Quantos. Okay, um, so what you need to do when you're tokenizing a fund like this is you need a to you need a regulated tokenization partner, and you need a regulated uh, um, uh, better than stable coin, but you're in in, in particular in Europe, uh, Euro money platform. And so we had we put these three things together. And so why don't you talk about the tokenization first? Oh, sorry, you oh, have yeah, a, got one. Yeah. Sure. Hey, good morning, everyone. Yeah. So in essence, what happened in and this part of this? Introduce yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Simon Barnby, uh, one of the co-founding team at Archex, pleased to be here today. Uh, so for this uh, for this project, basically what we've done is Algorand have taken some money, they've turned it into Euro D, the uh, stablecoin. That that uh, money has come to us at Archex. We're a regulated exchange broker custodian. We have taken that money, invested it in the Aberdeen uh, Euro Money Market Fund. Uh, we then created a token representation of that investment on Algorand. We then have the money market fund on Algorand, which we send back to you guys, where you can then peer-to-peer -peer trade it using your no-code uh, um, atomic settlement solution. So it's very exciting, the whole process to see complete from beginning all the way through and back to the end. And, and, and not a stable coin, is it, Henri? Uh, no, uh, even more stable than a stable coin. Um, Yes, it's a stable coin, but it's even more than that. It's an electronic money token. And uh, so my name is Henry. I'm one of Quantos co-founders. And uh, we are, I would uh, say, the first uh, company that uh, issues uh, real digital euros on a uh, blockchain. And uh, with this digital euro, we enable the uh, delivery versus payment of uh, regulated financial products. So with stable coins, you can, you can trade NFTs and everything else that's on the blockchain. But if you want to uh, enable the atomic swap of regulated financial products, you need, I won't say real money, but you need uh, regulated money. And this is something we've been working on with the Dutch regulator for uh, one and a half uh, years, um, convincing them also that uh, you can issue money on a public blockchain infrastructure like uh, Algorand. Uh, and we are happy to, uh, to partner with uh, Archex, Algorand and uh, Aberdeen on this, uh, uh, on this project. 
So this is major news, very bullish for Algorand. As you see, our four cryptocurrencies here are getting the vast majority of tokenized assets on chain. So this is super, super fascinating. If you've been in the space for a while, we've kind of been, you know, waiting on these days to occur and they're finally happening. We had the announcement of Franklin Templeton tokenizing on Stellar uh, last year. Uh, we have Archax tokenizing on Hedera, XRP, Algorand. So this is getting very exciting to be in the utility space. And we've been predicting that there's going to be a narrative over utility, over real world uh, use case, right? So real world assets is the narrative, tokenizing money market funds. As you saw the man from Qantas explain that it is more it's going to be like holding a stable coin that you can earn interest off so this is a amazing uh more mechanisms for savers investors things like that so super bullish on algorand for the 2025 bull run uh we're gonna move on here to the next speaker so, uh, uh the next speaker from thin boot uh juan perez <clears throat> so green supply chain management for the world's largest capital intensive companies Finboot offers an innovative traceability solution to automate ESG and sustainability credits, record keeping, create digital product passports, manage sustainability declarations and certifications, and uh, Algorand is the perfect place to get it done. Maybe you can introduce yourself, Juan Miguel, and then I... Sure, so my, name is, uh, my name is Juan Miguel Perez. I'm the CEO and co-founder at Finboot. We are a green supply chain management company uh, working with capital intensive organizations and helping them trace their low carbon, renewable and circular products. And Juan Miguel, you're not new to blockchain, are you? We, we are certainly not. We've been, we've been in this business since 2016. So we've got quite the, the track record here. Already working with uh, the likes of Repsol, who's a global multi-energy provider. Savic, who's one of the largest chemical manufacturers in the world. Uh, Evonik, uh, Sepsa, again, a lot of large enterprises in, in very capital intensive uh, industries. And what blockchain were you on? <laughs> so I was going to say, uh, Juan Miguel, for people who may not be so deep into oil and gas and chemicals, <laughs> Sabic, I think, does 140 billion a year of revenues. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, all, all of our customers are, are pretty much in that, in that ballpark. And Repsol is and a 25,000 person organization or something correct. like this. Enormous, yeah. enormous companies. So, and, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. I was just going to say, so the conversation, I think, started last year, right? About yes. blockchain and things you would like to do to advance uh, so, where you are. So, yeah. So, Algorand had, had certainly been in our radar before that. And, and it was our team. There were, there were two things on Algorand that, that were very attractive uh, to us. One from the technology angle, which is the, the kind of the scalability and, and the cost, let's be honest, on, on how we could operate in that ecosystem. And, and the other one was the commitment to sustainability, right? So being the first and, as far as I know so far, the only net zero emissions blockchain network, that to us was something that, that clicked very well in terms of what we were doing for, with our clients. But again, but again, but again... Uh, what blockchain were you on? What, 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 tell us what your blockchain experience was. Yeah, no, so for, from, um, from a kind of technology Algorand. angle, what <laughs> we decided, me and my kind of fellow co-founders from day one, was we wanted to build something that was pretty flexible, right? So capable of connecting and aggregating different blockchain technologies, right? Uh, we were working... A, primarily with quorum networks uh, for uh, enterprise customers so ethereum based technology and and, and then and then I was having this having uh, let's say uh, let's say benefit and and that almost future proofing position with our customer while we're in one, while we're in one network uh, uh, this can migrate and this can connect and it's not going to affect any of the operations that you already got running with us right and that's what I said we've been look, we've been looking at Algorand for for quite some time now about a year ago the conversation started with the with the team and into okay how do we how do we do this move more formally and and how do we get the best for both parties out of this partnership, which which I think today and today we're announcing, in, but a it's already been in the work, been in the works for for quite and, and uh, trans, uh, transactions have our flowing flowing, but b uh, to us at the beginning of what beginning of what we hope to be a a, a long term and very fruitful partnership. So you'll notice that he mentioned that they're moving it over from Quorum, which was their initial 
place that they were operating out of. And some of their clients, are, their, their assets are still there as they're bridging them over into the Algorand ecosystem just because of the efficiency of the Algorand blockchain uh, versus Ethereum-based technology. And we're starting to see that migration take place, right? Little by little. That's always been a theme in crypto, right? They called it the great migration that was going to happen eventually. And now we are seeing it take place. Uh, we're seeing companies, uh, a lot of them, you know, when it comes to enterprise grade, that they have to have the most margins that are uh, possible. It's just not worth paying those gas fees. It's not worth the slow, clunky uh, block time. So, I mean, it's, it's really good to see this because this is major business right here, right? Supply chain traceability, uh, right? He said they're making, you know, in the hundreds of billions of revenue each year. So this is massive uh, enterprise adoption when it comes to Algorand, right? Like you're an enterprise tokenizing on Algorand. You really don't have anything to worry about, right? You're not going to be worrying about the, the uh, chain going down or anything of that nature. But um, I thought that was awesome. You know, Stacy doing a great job. Um, you know, I, I couldn't be more proud of the team at Algorand. And yesterday in the uh, group, in the Eco Explorer, Explorer tab right here, we did cover her opening speech. We went in depth. We broke it down. Uh, CEO Stacy Warden, her opening speech. I mean, you know, we're about, you know, what? let's just say on average, a bu the bull run starts about a year after, after the happening. And so as we near uh, this time of this, you know, as interest rates in the macro economy are slowly starting to come down and, uh, you know, from the uh, high level institutional documents we've been reading in our study sessions, we know that 2025 is a risk on year. So we're, you know, we're just getting excited, getting ready, getting prepared, staying in position, uh, studying, researching, learning how to build portfolios the right way. Uh, and in my, in my uh, opinion, you cannot go wrong with the blue chip cryptos, Algorand, XRP, Hedera, Stellar. These are the future blue chips. These are the future DeFi protocols that are going to run the future financial system that is being built out right now in front of us. If you like this content, drop a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Tracking your location. Analyzing biometrics.